Morning here from Bern. Okay, okay. Okay, perfect. There we are. Hello and welcome back to another beautiful morning here in Bern. We're starting right in the action of the first game of the morning. We have the Bombards from Willisau in grey against Daffersel from Lucerne in blue, uh, red. And this is a, quite an important game for these two teams because it's about which team can remain in League A and which team might have to go down to League B. We have the Wombats trying to move up and FSL trying to fight for their spot to remain in League A. And here on this beautiful morning it's Ulrike and... My name is Luzi, leading you through these games and the following as we have the whole day of Ultimate in front of us. Here we have Hüsler with a long shot, but a little bit of tight defense on this one. And we have the turn for the Wombats. And we have to turn again, and Hüsler picking up the disc, a well-experienced player from Lucerne. And finding number 15 from Lucerne, his teammate Alex Imhof. Which makes this game a 2-0 lead for Lucerne in this rainy Sunday morning here from Bern. So in order to, to actually do this, they will get to be in defense, so they need to score a point first. Now we have Leon um, Vitaliano at the disc, a uh, national player in the juniors teams. At the moment also playing for free speed balls in the open division, but today we see him here in the mixed division playing for Lucerne. Now we have number 57 Bruno Zrotz at the disc, playing together with his teammates from Willisau and the deep shot into the end zone, beautifully played by the Wombats. Yes, we could see a really nice flow there. Marini's players, the Wombats team, they know each other so well. They've been playing together for a long time and they actually like to not be too many players. So they love to stay in a small, effective. And now let's see, they will start on defense. Let's see if we can see the famous Wombat zone now. And talking of long experience together, I, I talked to one of the Wombats uh, before the game and asked him, how long are you actually playing together? And he actually couldn't tell. So they, 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 they quit. Uh, counting all these years, I think that says it all. Okay, so we can see we have uh, Sylvia Kunz with the disc in her hand ready to pull, which means that we have... Uh, four women on the field. That's always a uh, gender pulling. So when a woman is pulling, mean we have four women and three men on the field. <coughs> so as you can see, and as expected, you see kind of a zonish look there, but FSL has no problem with this. They're moving forward easily. Kaufmann with the disc now 
Passing it over to number 79, his teammate Imhof. And back to Imhof there. He stays cool. Pass this to number 15. They're closing in onto their end zone. Staying calm. And the Wombat still staying in their zone, but the disc passes all over their heads into the hands of Achaman. Doing a great job there, sneaking into the end zone, just waiting for the disc to come to her. And there we go, we have another point for FSL, 3-1 now for them. And we really see there are a lot of moving and a lot of short passes in the handling, so this team really knows each other pretty well as well, as the Wombats do, of course, after years and years playing together. And also this, this is already the third day the, these teams fight into, oh it's actually the fourth day, it's the last day of uh, Swiss Championships, so we had two weekends. Already the first weekend was two weekends ago, and uh, teams were in the first round this time. Now we're here, second day of the second round, final day, these teams, so now it's all really coming to a head. Who's making it, who stays in League A, who will have to descend, and also who will make it into the finals. These are all things that we will learn later today. So we have an action-filled day before this. Let's keep on following the action going on here. Again, FSL with the disc ready to pull. Number 31, Simone Vraken. She's getting ready, which means we still have four women on the field. I really like this new gender pulling rule that has been in place for, I think, almost two years now. Makes it really easy to tell what's going on on the field. Disc is rolling, Warren Butts are picking up. It's like one of the super veteran players here, uh, Stadelmann with the disc, passing it forward to Wigman. He's kind of the, I think he's the tallest player in Switzerland. And here, beautiful pass to uh, his teammate Daniela Klaus for the score. It was really nice, easy play. Just use the tall guy on the field, pass this to him, and he, and the guys Wegman with a beautiful shot to Daniela Kraus for the score. So it gives the second point to the Wombats. They're still training a little bit, but don't count them out yet. Still, they're here to stay, and they're probably here to move up into League A. This is what they're aiming for. This is actually the goal of uh, this year's uh, championship round for them. Because uh, last year, they lost their spot in League A, had to move down into League B, and now, of course, they would love to be back among the big kids. Although I must say, as you said, it is an important game for both teams, but still, I haven't quite seen any teams to be as relaxed before such an important game as those two teams. They came to the fields, warmed up, as it was a usual game, but I think uh, they will warm up, heat up, and show how important this is to them. Let's see how it continues. I mean, these teams are pr usually known for being pretty relaxed off the field. On the field, they can put on the high energy. And oh, we have a very unfortunate drop there by Imhof. Probably he was already looking forward to what he's going to do with the disc. This is always very dangerous. So now this is a big chance for the Wombats to even out the score. We have Trotz walking towards the disc, ready to pick it up. It's a really very short field. We have a nice stick set up there by the Wombats. He's looking for the options. Overhead pass to Kuziman, but in these conditions, and with the good positioning of the FSL defender, it was a really tough ask for Kuziman to actually catch the disc. So we now pass to Imhof this time. It's working, moving forward to Achaman, and again to Imhof. <laughs> he would love, like to hack it deep, but he rather decided to stay cool. Now the disc is going to Hüsler. Back to Imhof, there's a really nice fast mover slicing through the zone. The Wombat set up there again. And again, disc back to Hüsler. And high shot to number 50, Raphael Zing, to collect it for the score for FSL. So it looked as if the Wombats had a chance to come back in there, but they looked for the difficult throw. And then FSL made short work out of their zone to score their fourth point. Yeah, really beautiful short passes there. And Hüsler play, playing a really important role as we see. He has pretty much every second disc, given the assist as well. So he's really leading, I wouldn't say his team, but kind of, yeah, his team as well, yeah. At the moment we have a 4-2 lead for the 
team from Lucerne at the moment. Yeah. And if you want to have a fun fact about Husla, he actually grew up with FSL because his dad, I think, is one of the not not like founders, but at least team actively playing with FSL. So kind of all his life, he has been playing with this team. Sometimes you see him up, pick up with other teams. You've seen he's playing open division with the Crazy Dogs, for example. But yeah, but he this is his team, kind of he his family, and you can really see how uh, how much heart is going into this team from from him. But now we are here with the Wombats. Also, they always put a lot of heart into their team. The disc is there with the Flatler. Beautiful shot forward to number 51. He's now right in front of the end zone, looking for options, deciding to. He should back to Blattler. Looking forward, a beautiful inside shot to Stadelmann, Adi. This time, there's a lot of Stadelmanns on the on the Wombats team. So just in case of doubt, just say Stadelmann and you might 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 be right. So yeah, beautiful catch there and beautiful inside throw, throw by Blattler to his teammate uh, Stadelmann. Re great work by the Wombats to stay cool and to play there. So let's see if they're on defense again. Will we see another zone? Yeah, I just asked myself as well if those both teams, I think they can play a really proper and easy offense both. I think both teams can improve their defense at the moment because we haven't seen a lot of pressure by now by neither of the, them. So let's see if one of the teams is able to pump it up a little bit in defense. Okay, Umbats are getting ready to pull. This time in the hands of uh, Andrea Kammermann. She's getting pretty beautiful pull there. She's one of the very reliable female handlers on the Wombats team. Now we have Vitaliano picking this up for FSL. Back to Hüsler. Now number 37, Simone Wracken again with the disc. Back to 20, 36. Eight and again number thirty for Italiano Vraken with the disc. Great save there by Rito Zing. We're back to Italiano for a pretty easy score for FSL. One side there there. Collected by number forty seven, Ria Guttinger. So again beautiful throw there from FSL. Uh, but as you said, I think both teams can step it up a little bit more on the defensive side. Maybe they're still checking each other out. And as you said, they warmed up pretty relaxed. So maybe this is a continuation of their of their warm out, the warm up test from before the start of the game. So again, I see teams setting up, getting ready. Again, we have Rankin ready to pull for FSL. Now always, always, yeah. See that they're getting ready. Having fun there. So, I mean, their pre people look pretty serious. They had not too many smiles on the fields, but maybe it's the early hours. Don't know what people did last night. I mean, it's the Swiss Championship, so they probably stepped well. I saw them, Wombats players, coming out of the hotel. So they did not really brave the, the weather <coughs> this time. So getting ready to try their hand on another point. And as we just saw Franken, don't be irritated, we have two Franken and they are even twins and look really much the same, so numbers 37, FSL, Simone, and we have also uh, Babs Franken on the team of FSL. But let's talk about the Wombats as they are on offense now. We have Daniela Klaus looking for an option, kind of getting and finding her colleague Wegman and now we have the tallest player as you said before on the squad finding Julia and for the score again clean offense rather lazy defense mm. yes very definitely like people like they passing the disc pretty easy to each other but also I think they offense they take a lot of the safe and easy options, don't really look for super difficult passes most of the time. So we again so I think also this is something where maybe the defense can put up a bit more pressure. Otherwise it's gonna be a pretty clean game. 
We have uh, currently the Wombats with four points and FSL with five. So the Wombats are still trying to get the break spec that they lost in the start. But Good I morning. think they're pretty, pretty confident that they will Test. be able to do that. We have Srots with the pool for the Wombats. Nice outside rolling, but being stopped by Lian Vitaliano. He finds his teammate Kaufmann with a nice around throw. Looking for options, finding Güttinger in the center of the field. For the moment, again, FSL, they don't have too much trouble getting free on the undercuts. So maybe I think both teams also like to play it deep. So in this case, they are both protecting rather the deep, deep ones. And here you see, we can see Vitaliano with a spicy overhead throw. But as we could see also in the earlier point from the Wombat side, these kind of passes in the morning, they're pretty difficult here. And also, Achaman, she could not really get there because uh, Stadelmann, he was a bit faster and had a better position there to catch the disc. And now the disc is in the hands of the Wombats. Really nice give-go dishing play gone there. We have the number 45. Now here, number 31, Shermer, with the disc in her hand. She's actually a player from the Netherlands, but she moved uh, to Switzerland for love. So now she's living and really Zhao and playing with the Wombats. But in the meantime, the FSL actually managed the defense. This is the first point where we see a couple of defenses. So now the hands is back with the FSL for them to try to score. We have Vitaliano to passing to Achaman. There's the disc looking forward for her options. Finds her teammate Vitaliano again. I think these are duos pretty quite a lot of times. And there again. Oh, unfortunately, she almost had it in her hand. It just slipped through her fingers. But it was a nice defense by the Womba player laying on the ground now. Hope he's well. Yeah, Martin Stadelmann. He's been playing for as long as I have been playing. Let me just take it first. But oh. Which is how long then? <laughs> I've been playing for 16 years. Wow, okay. <laughs> <laughs> quite some experience here. The commentator's box, uh, Chaz on the field. Yes, but he's back up. I think uh, walking off, but I think he will probably ask to be replaced. Somebody else. And Kuziman is coming on the field for Stadelmann. Number 44, he's walking off. Maybe he had an awkward landing in that layout attempt. It's always good to see that the people walk off, even if they're having a sore back. Uh, yeah. Oh, sorry. Um, okay, but now with like on this defense, now the disc is back with the Wombats. It's actually the third turnover of this point. So also with the disc, you can see he was drying up the disc a little bit, very conscious about the fact that the wet disc is not easy to catch. Um, as you can see here, probably there were some drops left on that disc and it slipped out of his grasp when he was trying to throw it forward. Sh Mich Michael Schmidi there. Now we get the disc back with FSL Vitaliano on the disc to Ackermann. They back to Vitaliano. This is turning into a kind of back and forth between these two. Kaufmann trying to get free but slipping on the wet ground. And Daniel fights Göttinger. Beautiful around throw. She's looking forward for connectivity but rather plays it back to her handler teammate Vitaliano. It to Kaufmann there. Hard work from the from the handlers there. So it looks like the Wombats they actually stepped up their defense a little bit, much more pressure on the handlers. Beautiful in inside throw there to number 20. Moritz Lime looking for the option. Great effort there by Göttinger to catch the disc. 
Now to Ilona Salzmann, back to Vitaliano. He I see something that he likes, Speedy Sofia Hermann, but even she could not run this disc down. It was just a little bit too far in front of her. Yeah, the youngest player of the FSL team, age of 16 years. Not able to get that disc by Vitaliano, but it was a really nice offense after a really strong defense of the Wombats team, as we just saw. And now they have the possibility to tie this game up 5-5. At the moment we have 5-4 and we have a first we have a timeout here to get some breath yeah. and warm up here again. This has been a long point so they will just have some water and we will have a short break as well. Not too much from defense. And I think maybe both teams listened to us, discussed, stepped up their defense, and now yeah, this turned into a long point with a lot of turnovers. But this time now, the Wombats managed to get it done and have uh, a chance to tie up this game. But we have a pick call there, and this goes back to Vitaliano. And Gutinger did all her run for a good reason, because if she wouldn't have caught it, although it's a pick, there would have been a turn. So it's yeah. important to catch your discs, although there is a pick. This time a bit easier than before. directing her team, <laughs> indicating where she wants to, to, to go. And Gutting are always like a calm person on the field and as she has a as she has a tattoo with no panic on her hand, this really fits well so really calmly um, played into the end zone and scored four flying saucers from Lucerne, which makes it a 6-4 lead for the flying saucers. They maintained and they started the game off with. We saw this a couple of times in this weekend already that we started with a few points of advantage in the start and then trying hard to maintain it. All the other teams trying to claw back in. I really like the idea of the no panic tattoo. So you say to this team, look at it, you breathe in and ready to go. Wonderful concept. So this one there, we have Dietler with the 
the disc, replace the pull, arms are being lifted, knees placing both feet are ready to go, pull is coming in, lands just out of bounds. Yeah, maybe just less than a meter, so bad luck for Hüsler there. And we see Wombat's number 79, Lettler walking it to the break point. And this is the defense on the first pass. Always ah, a little bit of heartbreak. But the chance for the lead for FSL. And the high pass to FSL's number 19, Jordis Gamma. Oh, I, and I think it all started off with a pretty good anticipated coaching defense from in Inhof. He kind of already smelled that, that inside coming and he was just there to uh, You can see Gamma, cool. As a cucumber walking off the field after this catch. Now we have Simon Franken, Simone Franken, one of the twins with the pool. And she's, as her fun fact is, she's not, not only good at ultimate frisbee, but also a talented beer pong player. So I hope she didn't do it too much yesterday evening. But it seems that she's really fit today. So it seems that she's doing an ultimate weekend. can hear some sideline shouts, but the sideline is not too vocal this morning. Oh, we start off with the throwaway right away. Again, first pass, is it? Yeah. So this is... Who's the indicating a turnover there? Oh no, it's a... Uh, it's not Hüsler. It's number... Another of the Benjamins from the FSL team. Get a move, cutting with the upline. The Franken rather passes up to the center. Unfortunately, a little bit too high. So we have Willie, number 30, not having a chance on this disc. So the Wombats again on offense. <laughs> we have Fonville with the disc, passing it to Adrian. Down nice the save there by Kraus. <laughs> it was a visionary throw. No, I'm not sure whom she was throwing that one to, but uh, cameraman, she just anticipated that one. And I think it's, again, a fact that these players know each other so well. Beautiful pass to Kaiser. But the number 36 from FSL, he was just there on time, Salzmann, for the defense there. Really, really nice job there for to be there on the spot because the pass coming to Kaiser looked really good and on point. And Salzman just got a finger in there. Now again, really walking up to the disc. Playing it. Trying to direct his team. We get getting a cutting hard. Really again with the disc this time now to Göttinger. Beautiful forward throw to Ackermann on the line. Great save there by Franken. But now the upline movement cut short. A good defensive pressure from the Wombats. Yeah, Dewar getting the disc really nice. And I think it's really important that the Wombats, who is rather a team for being famous for being smart, like a really smart team, not the one with the big legs. Uh, it's important they have some uh, young players as well, such as Dewar, who just got the defense. Um, yeah, we see that's an uh, important adding to this team. Yeah. Beautiful there, save there before by Kammermann before. Now the hand is in, this is in the hand of Stadlmann, looking for his options. Too many people just in front of him, so he doesn't really like what he sees. Finally, he finds Strutz, surveying his options. Keeping the disc safe in the center of the field. Throw back to Kammermann. She's looking at options. 
Oh, there's a lot of uh, chaos going in there and the cutting there from the wombat. Throws there again with the disc. Some of the people work hard, others hide a bit more. <coughs> Options don't look too easy. That oh. was a pretty fast throw at these conditions. High, fast, yeah. directly on the person. There's maybe hard cold hands, good. that's can happen this. But now he tries to remedy this one. Yeah, but Throats just gets it back. We got a call. Yes, but oh, we, we got a call. call. Yeah. I think Imhoff thinks maybe he had a hand on the disc. So I need to see. It's like uh, uncontested, which means it was a strip. Imhoff already caught the disc, and then due to the contact with the Throats, he lost the disc, which is a strip call. And if it's uncontested, the disc remains with the players and if it was in the end zone it's a point yeah so we have a point now fsl scores this one doesn't look like a score but it is a score which makes the game a 7-5 lead for lucerne at this moment and you could really see that they were looking for a good fast off uh, So it looks we have a timeout there. Wombats circling up at the sideline. Okay, so we actually we have half time, so we will switch to uh, some promotional material here from Alti TV and the sponsors. So see you in a bit. things in life are free and we're keeping it that way subscribe to keep up with the latest games tournaments and community content share it with your team and friends and drop a like to help spread ultimate to more people spread the word spread the love okay, back to you. Ulti.tv. Back to the second half of this very important game. It is about which team is it Lucerne or Willisau going to the first league of this Swiss championship in mixed. This is the final day of four days, and today we are in Bern. Yes, and we're having fun. It's the first game of the day, so also the other players from the other teams are slowly coming in. We'll start to warm up, so we might see more and more people in the background here. Also, the rain has decided to stop for this mo mo morning, so I think the players will be very appreciative of this one. So now we're in the second half. We have FSL leading with eight points against four points for the Wombats. The Wombats will try to kind of call their way back into the game because in this, they actually trying to climb up out of League B, back into A, and FSL is trying to remain in League A. Now we have Daniela Klaus, number 77 of Wombats, pulling this disc over the field mm -hmm. to start this second half. Yes, it was a relatively short pull. I think it slipped maybe out a little bit out of her hand, giving a rather sh short field to FSL. You can already see Vitaliano walking to the disc, thinking of what he might do, but he tried his hand on another overhead throw. We've already seen a couple of them from him, but now he keeps it safe. Plays the disc to Hüsler in the center of the disc. 
And now he looks for his options. And I think they're one by play. Yeah, he just smelt that one coming. Uh, yeah, he's there the just trying to have this spectacular yeah. throw to his teammate Leon Vitaliano. But yeah, as you said, it was kind of a phone ring before. Yeah. Now Fletcher there, beautiful shot to Shermer and great, great <laughs> presence of mind to keep your eye on the disc and catch it on the second attempt. And she had a lot of pressure there for the number of players. And I got Blattler there with the disc. Wow. And a uh, great collection there by the one match player. Big smiles going on. And, uh, and uh, there was quite a lot of defensive pressure there from, uh, from FSL. But he stayed unfazed, remained cool, and collected the disc for himself. Which brings the Wombats now to five points. But I think all of this was okay. We see again Shermer with the disc after this really good catch. Now the dish off to Blattler, who sees the option in the, in the deep, immediately puts it. Vitaliano puts up a lot of pressure, but the Wombats player just collected with the well big I smile on his face. What we just saw was this really, it was a good long throw, but the dishy before by Kammer, uh, Klaus, sorry. That's so important to just like give this disc to a forward moving uh, handler. This is such a nice thing to yes. do and giving a really good flow to the team. So bravo also to this little but important throw with I think. Yes, I think the whole, I mean I think it all, all started by the really good catch by Shermer under pressure before then and then just staying cool in the center, getting the disc into the right hands and playing there. And I guess FSL now they will try to do the same thing instead of Rather slowly, with the back and forth between Willy and Imhof, staying cool, because surprise, the Wombats are back with their zone. And with a huge knife by Willy, but that didn't quite arrive where it should. Yes. And this but is exactly what the Wombat wanted, a deep shot into the hand of Trotz. Great collection there by Wigman. Finding his teammate Kaiser, but uh, Göttinger, she was just there to defend that disc at the very last moment. So now FSL will get another shot at a look against the, the defense. And again, the kind of a funny decision by the Lucerne team. Another knife going anywhere. It seems like they just lost a little bit the, con the focus on this game. I think they better do getting their hair back. They had their heads back on the Maybe they pitch. get a bit too relaxed with the few points they are leading. They should really think about this one now. Trotz does really an old but good strategy. Hack it to the tall guy in the end zone. And Wigman there for the collection. But it was a beautiful shot from Trotz. Wigman didn't have to put in too much effort. He just had to be tall and collect the disc calmly. And being tall, that's what he can for years now. <laughs> His special power. So we're a little bit tighter in this game now. It's and this is the first break. Oh, this is a break for the Wombats. Right. This time. So nice to see this game getting intenser and intenser on this Sunday morning. Rather cold, cloudy Sunday morning here in Bern Wankdorf. Wombats are getting ready to pull. Schmidi with the disc. Again, a pretty high pull. They don't fly very far, so maybe also there's something. We but I think the Wombats, maybe they aim more at the long hanging pull so they can set up their zone. Because again, you can see that they're setting it up. So they're really going for time less than for depth on their pulls. There we have a. Overhead throw from Hüsler to Zing in the center. <coughs> nice swing there from Franken to Vitaliano and back trying to attack the, the cap there that has his back in place. 
after it had, had been beaten by that over overhead throw. Vitaliano back to Hisler. Looking for his options, finds something in the center that he likes. Kitzing back to Hüsler. <laughs> back and again for the score, number 56. Leonie Felber. And yeah, totally a very, very good example for the game of David Hüsler. He just likes to do this short throws, running, short throw, running, and I think he loves to play those Sonys. <laughs> and yeah, let's see if the Wombats do this zone again. Yeah, they have. Yeah, I guess well so. <laughs> maybe now they start on offense, so we might not necessarily see it right away. So first they will need to score their point. Indication, outstretch arms that we have their give go. It was so fast that we actually had trouble calling it and seeing who had the disc in their hands. And then this good, really nice collection in the end from uh, Leonie Felber there for the score. I think against the zone also it's important that the people sometimes stay a little bit out of the way, especially when this give gear movement is starting and just be aware that the disc can come at you at any time. Just be ready for, for this one and Felber clearly was to collect this one with her fingertips. So now we see Gittinger with the disc, ready to pull. Disc is up. There we go. So this one, much zing, more zing on it than the, the ones we saw from the Wombats in the terms of pull. But also here, FSL is going for a person defense, so they don't, don't try zone, but the Wombats, they are so used to zone, so probably setting up one against them or just play into the hands. So we got Kaiser now with the disc, finding Blättler still on the line, looking for his options, playing it back to its ruts, back to further on to Kaiser. Nice movement going there on there for the Wombats. Low disc for Blättler, unfortunately too low for him to get his hands on. So now FSL, they get another shot. We see Franken walk up to the disc. Number 29, which is uh, Simone. Oh no, Babs. Yeah. As you said, <laughs> they look so yeah. much alike. Yes. Yeah, it's it's always a dangerous to have twins on the field. They're always confused. And But unfortunately, we had an overthrow from FSL giving another shot to the Wombats to actually score this point. This is now in the hand of Flettler looking for an overhead throw, showing how it's done. Beautiful collection there by his teammate, Schmidi. Actually, two players who know each other very well as well, because they usually also play on another team together. And high check from the um, from the very central part of Switzerland. So a good connection there, as we just saw this overhead score. This again. was a score for the Wombats, with, uh, which brings the game even closer. So it's 8-7 uh, now, the score. Here we have Flatler again to Durer with a nice catch in the end zone, which makes it a 9-7. Still Lucerne in front, two points. We have the Wombat ready to pull. Krauss with the disc in her hand. Nice outside rolling pull. It's, it's always it's good. Needs to, to be stopped. Yes. Needs yeah. to be stopped. Yeah. Otherwise, it makes meters and meters. And Schmidt is the first there on the defense, trying to stop the momentum. We are getting her with the disc there. Just now to really in his hand to Vitaliano. And again, quick give and go movements there. Really nice job. Göttinger and Zing and back to Vitaliano. He's just running through that cup as if it's not there. This goes back to Göttinger. Finding Zing. Finding Vitaliano and back to Göttinger and Zing. They're just uh, easily running over all over the field there. Making it easy. And we get Göttinger with the collection for the score. 
there was some beautiful zone offense, really give and go movement there. The, the Wombat zone did not really have a chance to, to stop these super clean, nice movements. Yeah, Lucerne really does the very best from its team. I think looking at this team, it's a rather small team. They don't have many tall players, so they really have those, can do those short, fast runs. And they really do it ver very well. And showing the experienced Wombats team that their Sony maybe is not as good as they thought. Yeah. It, it's effective, I think, against maybe in the wind and so in teams that not are not patient enough. But here, FSR show just take the small options that you get, and it's working as well. So really nice, almost textbook like zone offense there we had in the small ball. So now we get Imhoff with the disc again, lifted arms on all sides. Teams are ready to give. The next point, a shot. There we go, beautiful pass collected by Kammermann. It's still rolling a little bit. Trying off the disc, always a good move there, especially under these conditions. Just looking for options, activating. Her dump didn't really see what she's getting. Trying to go for the deep shot, it's always stall as high. It's like a, always a good option to try this one. and. Uh, the Wombats player, she almost got there. Yeah, I think it was a good option. This is emergency call, a emergency throw. But now we still have the offense. Ah, always, always catch your Ds. We can't say it enough. Great action there by Ackerman. Yeah, Great awareness. he was there. He could have caught it. And we have Willie losing the disc in his hands. Great pressure. I think Trotz now, after he didn't manage to get that first defense, he was on fire. He wanted that second one, and really, he just felt the breath in his in his neck. And mm. here we see Wegman walking to the disc, looking for a deep shot, not finding someone, but Trotz in his handling, passing it to Fonville. I think we have a stack which is rather far away from the handling, so the connections are rather difficult. And we have, as you said before, the good tactics just to put a high pass in the air. And we have Wegman, who is more than two meters tall, I would say, catching a disc easily in yeah. this air flight. Kammermann with the disc there, back to Wegman. Finding Shermer, can she run it down? Great layout attempt there. And she still has the disc in her hands. That is a score for the Wombats. They will be happy about this one. And Lotte Schirmer really unafraid to put her body on the line to save that point for the Wombats. Let's see if uh, camera gives us the playback of this good move there. I think they really know also what their players can do and maybe might try to do. So we see great effort from the parts of the Wombats. There we see pass back to Kammermann, back to Wegman. And now he's looking for an option. He sees Schirmer cutting and really wow. nice yeah. movement there to score the point. And Ackermann directly indicating that the point is scored, appreciating the layout. And, by also, the and also great pictures by our cameraman Flo. Thank you so much for his work. And we also appreciate the work of all the cameramen we have here and women and women yeah cameramen and women i'm so sorry brought to you by alti tv on this sunday morning nice to have you here in this second half of this important game between Willy Sau and lucerne deciding who is going to play in national league a next year yes. so far fsl is on a good path to remain in League A. We have the disc here in the hand of Hüsler, trying to take it back to Vitaliano. Was a bit of a speculative throw. This does not look to be speculative at all. He has a Whoa. good receiver in the end. Unfortunately, it was just a tiny, tiny bit too far. Great effort there from Zing to... Yeah, and I think a funny decision by Vitaliano. He broke he broke his mark with the backhand on the sidearms inside. So, yeah. 
really courage. Courageous, he shows, yeah. yeah, courageous this decision, but as we see, not quite the best outcome. So now the Wombats, they can we have a pick all there in the game. Right away on the first pass, there's a stike. It's a bit bundled up in the middle there, trying to get free. He gets Schmidi. He seems to get free on on almost every cut he does. Very fast player there. No great effort there, but he has big pressure from Vitaliano on this one. The pass to Imhof for the score. This time the deep shot, semi deep shot worked well and great collection there by Imhof for the score for FSL, bringing the score to 11 for FSL to eight for the Wombats. against teams getting some indications from their, from their captains and coaches to do for the defense. The next point, there was good defensive pressure. I think in general, in the second half, defensive pressure from both teams has increased quite a bit, which is why also we see so many more turnovers that happen now, but here really beautiful pass break offense, pass directly into the outstretched hands of Imhof a beautiful, beautiful score in front of the burnt tram passing by in the background. Start off, another pull from FSL. Bombards collecting. Get their first pass to Stadelmann. Looking for his options. Lots of movement there. Good collection from Trotz. The second just man here on this pass and just putting it down. This is a bit too far out for Shermer. This time she did not manage to lay out for it. So you also the kind of the disc is coming from the side, the direction still a bit high, so it's really difficult. And you always need to make this split decision. Am I going to lay out or not? And often if you think about it, it's already too late. Now we have Bob, Bob's Franken for Lucerne at the disc, having the chance to enlarge the gap between the two teams. But and we have a timeout call there, which gives us a little break. Mm -hmm. And you as well at home, see you in a few moments. Yes, yeah, and let the team have some talking. We are a group of ultimate players, coaches and video enthusiasts. We've worked with the major federations and the greatest events. We're on a mission to make Ultimate huge. We want our videos and live streams to be free to watch. We want to make stories that not only reach you, but also reach people outside the Ultimate community. Like and subscribe, Ultimate TV, the best in the world. Become a member and fund, fund our, our work, work to cover more events in the future and to bring more stories and live coverage to the eyes of the Ultimate world and, and beyond. beyond.
Okay, the time word is over. So we have FSL still on the disc. They have the full field to go to score their 12th point. They want this, but I think the Wombats, they will have something to say about this. I think to stop it, hit the Gittinger, they get the easy option, really nice give and go movement there from FSL. You got number 29. Not really liking what she sees in terms of options. Goes for an emergency throw to Willis, who puts his whole body force into the throw, falling backwards on the movement, but the disc was just too high, too floaty, and too difficult for his teammates to collect. And it was a really strong defense by the Wombats. Now on offense, taking long throws, throws at the disc, looking for a deep shot. Finding Rüttimann to Stadelmann. And Throtz getting the up line into the zone. Nicely done, but kind of a no go for the defense to get an up line one, yes. in the end zone. That's really a neck breaker. Yes. But the Wombats will be happy about this, collecting their ninth point. So it's nine point for Wombats, 11 points for FSL. So now the Wombats probably happy to put their zone defense on again. Let's see, let's see what we will see. But I think it also was good by the by the Wombats to stay in that game, to stay in that point, and to stay cool about the situation. They're there because they're still trailing since the start of the game. They're trying really hard to find their way back into League A to play against the, the big ones next year again to give their one another shot. And now we just have some rain coming in pretty intensely. Let's see how this is going to affect the game. Yes. Slippery disc, it was already, but this may be a little bit more difficult and may cause some more turnovers, but let's see how the two experienced team manage the situation. Exactly, exactly. Should that be? I mean, it's only wind, it's not wind and rain. So often it's the combination that's the color here. People just need to focus a little bit more on their throws, maybe also go for the easy options. They have Göttinger there with the disc, passing it off to Vitaliano. But he maybe Cat. gets a bit of contact on the catch. Not happy about what's going on there. Mm -hmm. Uncontested foul call. Italiano with a beautiful scuba over the cup. Yes. Well, they well move there with the collection. He's wearing gloves, so he's probably a bit sure about his catches. Passing it off there to Gutinger there, back to Imhof. Looking forward. Not really happy about this option. It's really nice. Pass to number 37, Rankin, and back to Vitaliano. Back to Imhof. Vitaliano, nice over the head of the defensive player into the end zone for collection by number 66 Faber. she's again just around the right spot to collect the disc on this fast play from the fsl so once the often gets going it's really moving forward fluidly really nice to see so lucerne only needs three more points to end this game and to go to League A again, also in the next year. And maybe points. also can't get out of the rain. So let's see if maybe they, they will put on the Jets to make it make it into a, some protected areas a little bit faster. On the sideline, we have the other teams preparing. I think you have to, if you have to warm up under these conditions, this is actually hard, taking off your rain jacket, starting to move. So I'm pretty happy that we are under this small tent here being protected from the conditions. Mm. You can see our cameramen and women being bundled up in their rain jackets, controlling the technology. And I think here, thank you for plastic wrap that protects the cameras from all this stuff. Oh yeah. Conditions, we get there. Great collection there by Blattler from that pole. Had to go down on his knees to secure their one. 
Mm. Great That's collection no. there by Tsurats using both of his hands. But then the rain is taking its toll. The disc slipped out of his hand on the flick throw. He get really sweet with the, really with the disc. Finding Achaman. Great collection oh, wow. there. Great presence of mind. And we have Akaman getting the disc in yeah. the end zone, scoring the 13th point for Lucerne in the big rain of Bern <laughs> this Sunday morning. Yes. But there was ah, a nice cheering there by those young players. A uh, big smile there from Akaman, and she gets to stay on the line. People <laughs> just try staying, the other ones opting to stay under the under the tent is like you're already wet you can stay doing such a great job and i think she's more than happy to oh yeah to do that i uh, can really see yeah, now the water is deciding to fall down from the sky making life really hard for the players to keep control of the disc. What we there, we start off with a beautiful pull from Imhof and again collected by Blattler on his knees. I think it's uh, so important also to get the game going quickly. Blattler with the disc looking forward. Does not really like what he sees there. This is off to his teammate. Great tip of the disc there on the defense by Imho. She, he seems to be everywhere right now on the oh field. Yeah. This to Vranken, Vitaliano, back to Vranken. These two are such a dynamic duo. Also, an offense there. A bit high, high for Vitaliano yeah. being collected by the tallest player on the field. Who else? For the defense there. So the Wombats get another shot at this point. There's Schmidli with the disc there. Uh, disc falling down fast, and even the falling Wombat player could not catch it. So now FSL happy to try again to score that point. We got Vitaliano with the disc to Imhof. Looking for oh his nice options. Inside there. Nice inside shot to Franken. Disc to Vitaliano again. They are not afraid to move backwards a little bit just to get more space on the offense. Pass to move there. Now they're getting a bit stagnant, looking for movement. Great move. Pass by Imhof there. And into the end zone. I don't from here you could see the rain was playing a little bit with the mind of the FSL player. Not really sure how he should grab that disc and it, then it just slipped through his fingers. And we have Blattler again on the disc for Wombats from Willy Zhao. And another turnover with it. Oh no, we have a, another turnover, we have a call. Disc stays in the hands of Wombats. Yes. Uncontested foul. I think it was so much contact that uh, the player really said, okay, it was too much bumping around there. Get Blattler with the disc, always reliable with his throws. Looking for his options, but there we got a hand block there by Imhof, but at the same time, foul call on their cut from the Wombat player. But I think it was a pretty proper hand block, wasn't it? Yes. And but the question is now, because there was also a foul on the cutter. She said, I was trying to get there and, and I could not. It was not too far away from that line. So there was uh, maybe a potential. But from my point of view, I must say that was a really hard disc to catch. Yeah, it was it was a yeah. hard ask, so I think it's like a interesting decision there by FSL. Mm -hmm. But I think they're confident they're probably they, they might get it back on defense. Yeah. So the f disc is back to Schmidli. Mm -hmm. Nice oh. high release flick. Always nice to see there. And again, great movement there by the Wombats. Oh, way nice block, great but still defensive effort there by effort, effort there by Imhof, but still always catch you these as you said before. So this gave the chance to Kraus to grab that disc, and this is a point for the Wombats. So they're just staying close, staying behind. Ten points for them now against thirteen points for FSL. Mm. 
most teams are working really hard to keep control of the disc and to bring it home. It's a really, really well played and I think also a great defensive effort there by FSL from him hoof to get it. And big man, he's tall, which means his discs also will already be, will be released pretty high up. But Imhof, he's not a he's not a small person either. So uh, I think yeah. he had the best shot on there, getting that defense. Okay, Wombat, they're getting ready to put up some defensive pressure. We will have Kaiser pulling. Mm. But it's nice to see, like all the with this rain falling down from the sky that you see all the smiles on the sideline, people cheering for each other. Get some umbrellas coming out, but not too many. It's always interesting that people opt to just, they just get soaked. They're soaked anyway when they play. Yeah, as you can see here, really not afraid, really not afraid to play some quick give and go there with his teammate, Göttinger. Hüsler now with the disc. Back to Willi, back to Hüsler, and to Willi again. And Hüsler ah. for the score. They were so fast, I almost did not see that one. And they're always with their hoodie, the two of them being pretty disguised. So luckily the numbers are big on their back, so you can actually distinguish them. <laughs> Otherwise they look pretty similar, these two. But the quick give and going between these two. Not quite a chance for the Wombat Zoni to get the one. And we see again this really fast give and go play by Husler and Willy. And Husler catching this disc in the end zone and dropping it right away. Yeah. Pretty cool. Yeah, yeah, still, I mean, <laughs> especially under these conditions, I think it's always better to clearly show that you caught that one because you blink it and you miss it. And then you can ask, was it, was it, a, was it a catch or was it a drop? Yeah. So uh, I'm always a bigger fan of you have to at least hold it for three seconds so that the others are sure that you caught it. So do I. And it's Flying Saucer is pulling for this yeah, it was a low maybe pull. last point. Uh, if they do the break, it would be the end of the yeah, game. So they, they need 15 points. They have 14 at the moment. But let's see how the Wombats go with this pressure here. Yes. We got Kraus with the disc. And again, Schmidli. Oh no, it's number 45. Maybe his brother looks so much like him. And a safe catch by Wegman. Duel with a beautiful overhead. And mm. of course, yeah, a good I target. Yeah. Tall target. If it works, Wegman. why change it? But great job there by number 49, Honiger, with a pass to Wegman. And now we have Lucerne on offense with a chance to end this game. Their first match point. I see Honiger there with the disc looking for his options. He sees the tall target in the back and beautiful overhead throw. To Wigman. And right through the outstre outstretched arms of, uh, of Imhof, I think, on that one. Here we see yeah. a lot of... See the sideline of the Wombats and the pool rolling out. Rolling pool, stopped by Willi, directly to Hüsler. I think they two mean business. They are on the field together, looking for good options. We had Gamma with the disc now. Get focus on that catch. Back to Hüsler. And <laughs> quite a lot of defensive pressure here. Back to Willi. Got a pick call on the field. So we're gonna need to short out their positions. Reorganize a little bit. Now FSL. Up to the races again. Passing here to Zing. Speedy cutter. Always at a good position. Willis now, really now with the disc, looking for Hüsler. Great <laughs> cutting there from from him yeah. to get free. 
And Hüsler, as, as it's written in our fun fact list, it's always a question if he's going to do a layout or no. And that would, be, would, would have been the option too, but he walked it really nicely with his fast feet. But Hüsler doesn't like to do layouts, so <laughs> he better runs. <laughs> yeah. If you're fast enough, why don't? Why yeah. you don't why nice Why offline you? continuation yes. there. Good job there to Göttinger. Mm. So now, as it is going to line to Hüsler. Great upline movement there, and Willie for the score, and this wins the game for FSL. And Lucerne stays in League A also next year. Yes, they confirmed their spot there. Really showed everybody that they have a right to be there. So great, great effort from also from the parts of the Wombats for the game. And congratulations, congratulations for both teams. And. Uh, we will have a small short break before we continue with the next game, which is actually a half final between uh, the Wizards from Geneva and Lo Fly High from Lausanne. So we'll see, we'll see you in a few minutes for the half final game. Hallo miteinander, mein Name ist Daniele und ich probiere euch den Backhand näher zu bringen. Wir haben eigentlich in den Koffergriff die Scheibe. Man nimmt den Daumen über die Rille vom Frisbee und macht hinten die Faust mit den Finger, mit den restlichen, dass alles schön zusammen ist, sodass keine Löcher entstehen und man am Schluss die Scheibe gut losführen kann. Nach dem Griff ist der zweite Teil Positionierung. Das macht man, indem man hüftbreit Steht, zum Ziel her schaut, einen Ausfallschritt macht, muss nicht gross sein. Es geht vor allem darum, dass man hier den ganzen Platz hat, um den Backhand zu spielen. Dass ein guter Backhand gewährleistet ist, ist der Drall entscheidend. Man steht raus und gibt jetzt wirklich ganz am Schluss, wenn man den Frisbee aus der Hand gibt. Das ist wichtiger wie Kraft. Du möchtest so werfen können wie Daniele? Dann melde dich doch unverbindlich bei einem unserer Clubs und erfahre alles über Ultimate, die schnelle Teamsportart mit dem Frisbee. Alle Infos findest du auf unserer Verbandswebseite ultimate.ch. Wir freuen uns, von dir zu hören. Soli, wünsche ich euch viel Spaß im Backhand üben. Always on the move? You can keep up to date with Ulti TV on all of our social media channels. Like, follow, subscribe, share us with a friend, or send us a message just to say hey. Thank you for supporting us in our mission to grow ultimate everywhere. Ich 
Schere zu rennen und erkläre dir den Seidarmwurf. Machst du eine Schere zwischen Mittelfinger und Ringfinger, leist den Mittelfinger und den Zeigefinger an den inneren Rand verschieben. Den Daumen leist oben drauf, auf die Rille. Den Ringfinger und den Kleinfinger kannst du aussen machen, zum Stabilisieren brauchen. Wir stehen hüftbreit, ausgerichtet dort her, wo wir werfen wollen. Und wir machen einen kleinen Ausfallschritt zu der Hand, die wir geschieben haben. Dann ist ganz wichtig beim Werfen das Handgelenk. Aus dem Handgelenk machen wir so einen Kick, damit möglichst viel Drall auf die Schiebe kommt und die schön fliegt. Das ist viel wichtiger als die Kraft selber. Die Wurfbahn von Schiebe kann man in dem verändern, dass man den Winkel anpasst. Das heisst, man kann die Aussenkante aufstellen. Dann macht das Frisbee einen Bogen aussen. Und wenn man die Aussenkante runterhängen lässt, dann macht sie eine Innenkurve. Du möchtest so werfen können wie Sarina? Dann melde dich doch unverbindlich bei einem unserer Clubs und erfahre alles über Ultimate, die schnelle Teamsportart mit dem Frisbee. Alle Infos findest du auf unserer Verbandswebseite ultimate.ch. Wir freuen uns, von dir zu hören. So, jetzt wünsche ich euch ganz viel Spaß beim Schieben. Thank you.